So let's see what John Anthony has to say about MGTOW. And this is like a year after we destroyed him. Find out. Oh, let's do it. Come on. And they're not dating women, mm -hmm. incels. They're yeah. just like, it seems like victim mentality yeah. at its highest form. Mm -hmm. This is, the, I'm like, well, so what do you mean? You're, you're just a- Okay, can, can you stop it a second? Why, <clears throat> why would you consider somebody becoming aware of a circumstance and correcting for the circumstance of victim mentality? Don't, I don't understand that. Well, you know, so, when men say that, they don't want to date women because they hate them because they're going to destroy them and divorce 20 years from now. I'm a victim. Uh, no, it means that they're prudent. They have some forethought and they're looking into the future a little bit to kind of see how it could go mm -hmm. and protecting themselves. You're, you're protecting yourself. You're going to, are these guys on this stage right now going to tell me that they're unaware of the bias of the American legal system as far as divorce and child custody is concerned? Are you going to tell me that you don't know about it? I mean, a lot of MGTOWs, they come to the, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, they come to the decision because they think about what I really want from a woman, a family and children. And if yeah. I do that, I'm in the worst position possible. This yes. guy, I don't know if he has kids. I don't know about this guy. He looks like. He looks like a fucking car salesman that's hung over. No offense to car salesmen. Uh, I mean, it, it looks like the hair plugs are put in the wrong order. Ouch. Yeah, that's just me. Um, but he's talking to John Anthony Lifestyle. John Anthony Lifestyle told me, he got ever set to me. Actually, I don't know if he told me that. He, he told me he doesn't want kids, though. So. Yeah. So, a guy who just uses women for the physical, mm -hmm. temporary pleasure of having sex with them. He's not going to understand the midtown perspective because anybody who whose only goal in life is to bang as many women as possible is a crackhead to me. Well, life yeah, is to smoke as much crack as possible. As you're a as dopamine. Like, I'm not going to, yeah. there's nothing useful to be gained from that. Guy. So he no, doesn't they're, like MGTOW. They're yeah. So this guy doesn't like MGTOW because he finally got his $125 on sale, 50% off at JC Penny's suit jacket because his girlfriend then spent it on that. And he doesn't want to upset his girlfriend. And John Anthony doesn't like MGTOW because he depends on single horny dudes to pay him for his shitty roach courses. Now, how can you take the opinion of a man that has admitted to having multiple STDs because of the reckless way that he lives his life, Ugh. marries Brazilian hookers, yep. um, and then fucks men that dress <laughs> up as women and says that it's a leg count? Plus, that's, that's not even the worst thing you did. Do you know the worst thing you did was uh, fucked with a green skin. That was the worst um, tactic he had. Now, the, for, the most impressive <laughs> thing to me is there was some Bruda in Brazil. He was down on his luck. He was a homeless Bruda. And this guy came up and gave him free booze. They were partying. You're a homeless guy down in luck, probably divorced. You're partying with an American. Oh, he's rich. You give me money. And before you know it, this American pickup artist is grinding on you. Oh, I saw that. Oh, that was hideous. I would actually pay that guy enough money to get an apartment for three months if I can get him on an interview. That homeless guy. Oh, that, that was fucking hideous, man. I couldn't believe I was seeing it. But yeah, it's out there for everybody to see. You see, if I was monetized for the past two years, I'd have enough extra shekels to spend on whatever for the channel. I would pay people in Brazil to find out who that was and offer that homeless guy enough money to make him come on a stream for an hour and a half. Yeah, I mean, I'd chip in and buy him a few months of an apartment or something, man, to get that shit going. Hells, yeah. John yeah. Anthony grinds on drunk homeless guys. That, oh man, that was so uncomfortable. You got a guy out here trying to speak to you about masculinity and what it means to be a man, and you're sitting there fucking your your cheek grabbing somebody's sausage through their pants. It's fucking hideous. I would it's wanna, terrible. I, I think maybe instead of three months, two months of an apartment and like five doctor's visits to cure whatever he got. <laughs> Shout out to my At homeless Brutus. Let us continue. Yep. Dude that hates women now? Like, what's happening right here, bro? Like, improve your life. Figure it out. Make some money. Get in the gym. Talk to women. Get laid. You got this, buddy. Go and en enroll in John Anthony lifestyle. You could. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> oh man! Oh, 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 oh,
man. It's an infomercial. Like, you know there's MGTOWs out there that go to the gym. Uh, yeah. You know there's MGTOWs out there that make money. Uh, yeah. It's like, imagine if I said this. Make some money, go to the gym, buy some weed, donate to Underchronic at Cash App slash Cash Sign Underchronic. You would roast me. Everybody should roast me. Sound advice. If Sound my, advice. If that was my advice to men, yeah, in general, yeah, yeah, yeah people would roast me, and they should. Oh, man. Just grifters. It's, it's, it's sad. It's sad to me to see men that are this weak and corrupted by their, their passions and their wants and their desires and the need to, to utilize other men to take care of them. It's too if, bad. If I shoot up heroin three times a day, would you say that I have a passion for heroin or would you say I have an addiction? I would say that you have an addiction. Yeah. There's no, pa- you can't have a passion for having relations with loose women. It's something that controls your life. You know, you have to understand that you control it or it controls you and you're making the choice to keep doing something that's harmful to you. Very harmful. So Hammerhand, I have a passion for incline bench press recently. Mm, That could be harmful if you drop it. Yeah. I've been hitting, um, what was it? Two days ago I was hitting, I guess I did use a two and a half pound plate. Okay. Um, I was hitting like 280 on the incline bench press for sets of eight. That's uh, that's pretty intense, man. And I was angry while I was doing it because I was listening to someone else's video making fun of Think Before You Sleep. And I was just like, this fucking shit, bitch, ass, <laughs> liquor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This uh, this will do it, man. That, that'll that pump you up and get the charge going on pretty quick. Yeah. But let's get back to this pretty quick. It'd be at 1591. Yep. No problem. So... <laughs> What's the what's look how tight this metrosexual's pants are? I'm sorry, I just had a comment. He's got skinny pants on, bro. Dude, I've seen chicks at the gym wearing leggings that are looser than that. I thought that motherfucker had a third arm. Look how small his calves are. <laughs> oh yeah. He he definitely missed leg day for the last 30 years. Oh my goodness. His calves are like smaller than his biceps. I didn't know it was possible, but I guess it Ay, is. Caramba. This is fucked up. <sighs> What's your situation with these MGTOWs? Do you understand what I'm saying? These two different yeah. camps? Well, it, but the problem is, like I said, is a lot of them, like, they actively try a whole lot, and they give it a chance, and the years to start falling off the calendar, the decades fall off the calendar, and it becomes, like, too hard on them emotionally and psychologically. Mm-hmm. And so a lot of them just give up because they think there's no light at the end of the tunnel. So what I try to do is give them, like, a straightforward, practical, step-by-step system that's going to deliver results immediately. Like, let me get your... Dude, just buy a whore. You know, like, I, I, look, I've said this for years and years and years. You're not an incel. You're not broke, desperate and lonely. If you, I, I understand if you want the mental connection, the emotional connection, I get it. But you've got to start somewhere. I'm certainly not going to advocate to you that you go get a whore. But if you want to get off the fucking schneid, it's not exactly like it's frowned upon anymore. This Jonathan lifestyle guy, he has absolutely no definition on his face. Like it looks like a blank slate. It straight looks like his face looks like a blank slate. No big jawline. Nose is weak. His eyes look dysgenic. Look at his little legs. His legs are even smaller. Oh my! And this guy's well, gonna teach you how to be attractive to women. It's it must be the rough cutting edge jawline. Oh, I'm sorry, I fucked that one up. It must be the rough cutting edge tattoos. No, I, I fucked that one up too. I don't really know what it is. Maybe he pays for his bitches too. I mean, we've come to find out that most of the people out here that are rocking three, four, five hundred thousand subs, a million subs, they pay for the pussy that they dangle in front of other people's faces and charge money on courses for. Look, I. People think, you know, Chronic, you got tattoos, you can't roast people for having tattoos, but I can. Yeah, you got to have good ones. Those tattoos are so low quality. It's just like a blur. It looks like, you know, you're like in like fifth grade and you just take the side of your pencil your lead and you just kind of like spread it over like a coloring pad over your homework because you're bored. That's this guy's arms. And I got my tattoo at 17. It was a symbol for myself and the group of men I ran with also called a gang. Ergo, when people say chronic, just show your body online. Not going to do that. (laughs) Can't, can't 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 do that. I can't be doing that. And when I go to work, if I want to wear a t-shirt, you know what I also have to wear? I'm looking like Steph Curry out there. 
I got the one sleeve down to the wrist. <laughs> well, you know, you know, there's reasons for the shit for shit like that. So yeah, yeah. So no, I definitely and and even though I'm not part of that life anymore, every year or two, probably every two years, I get it touched up because it has Fan its uses. Not in free drinks. I've gone out of some hammerhand. I Sir. have gone out of some very, very sticky, a.k.a. red hand situations because of that tattoo, mm-hmm. that sleeve. Mm-hmm. I am listening. I'm listening. Anyhow, um, this guy's arms are small. His tattoos are bad. Dude, I've seen, um, I've seen Q-tips more intimidating than this guy's legs. Look at this. Look at well, this. Look, man, uh, you know, the point that I would always come back to with somebody like this is that if it's important enough for you, somebody, a uh, fan I am just sent you a super chat for a couple of pieces there that says that this guy says he's got a 1590 lay count, right? So uh, why is it that important to you to rack up 1500 bodies and then think that you're any kind of valuable man? You know, um, what? 1500 body count. You know who that's impressive to? Uh, no. Middle, middle school boys. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I can kind of see that. And that, that breaks my heart. It really does. Because they're our middle school Raging boys. Raging fucking testosterone well, are, are, are or horny. Are, are middle school boys a good judge of anything? No. Of course not. I mean, besides judging whether or not someone's trash at Call of Duty, besides that, they're bad at everything. Judge. <laughs> yeah, well, you're right about that, man. But uh, yeah, uh, these people, these people have intentionally perverted and inverted the meaning of morals and ethics and values and principle and mm-hmm. controlling your biology. And it's intentional for them to do that. People that listen to these guys, you're worse off than you ever will be if you just learn how to control yourself. Get I a little a, fucking control, a little self-respect. I have a body count between eighty. And like 130, 140, something like that. I would never tell the men I respect in my life, my body count, and expect a positive response. I agree with you on that. You know, I agree with you. I've got probably 30-ish. And to me, that was just too much. Like if I told Hammer, uh, Hammerhand, I banged 120 bitches. You'd be like, oh, you got around. You got around. But it's not like, oh, it's not like. Oh, hell yeah. You're the man. Yeah, you slay. Yeah. No, it would not be like that. I ain't going to try to, you know, run it up your ass or anything and, and talk shit to you, but I definitely would say, yeah, you kind of got around, man. Did you yep. learn anything from that? Um, I mean, <laughs> one last mini story before we continue. Go. I was at a one-night stand's house, and <laughs> apparently her neighbor got in a shootout with her boyfriend. And I woke Whoa. up to gunshots, and I ran out of the house without my pants or shoes, jumped in my car. With my, I left my phone, too. Um, never got that phone back. and just deactivated it on AT&T. And I drove back to the frat house, and I was walking to the frat house at 6 in the morning, and there was a bunch of guys studying for finals. I opened the door. And it's like 20 freshmen studying hard, and I'm just standing there in my SpongeBob boxers. They're like, what the fuck happened? I'm just like, don't want to <laughs> talk about it. <laughs> Just, just a bad night, gentlemen. Just a bad night. I went to the wrong part of town, Brutus. Okay, let's continue. Your girl's thoughts on this. So when a guy first comes on the program, we hook him up with a professional photographer. They get a pro photo shoot, and then we have a team of hot girls that picks the best five photos out of hundreds of photos. Smart. Then we apply a face app to it. So he's... So you lie. Face app. So you lie. So you lie. You lie. You turn these guys into a catfish. <laughs> You're sabotaging your client. Hammerhand. What if my little brother came up to me and said, "Hey, I got a photographer to take these pictures. Do you know any woman that would think the hot these are the hottest?" I'm like, "Um, I think these are better. Whatever. I'm not gonna tell my 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 fr- my, my I can't call them friends. The woman I know." And then he's just like, "We're gonna put a face app on it." I would backhand my little brother so hard he would need to see an oral surgeon tomorrow. Yeah. This motherfucker is not even batting an eye when he is sitting here admitting to you on camera that he lies, cheats, steals, and deceives and sabotages his own fucking clientele. Dude, this is what he does with himself, too. John, the, I know. John, okay, this, this segment's titled, John at the Lifestyle needs to use FaceApp to get dates. 
That's the title of this one. <laughs> My man. <laughs> hey, hey, if he does it for his clients, he doesn't think he does it for himself? I just don't. I cannot fathom why somebody would go down this road instead of just trying a little bit harder to get a hold of what's going on with them. In in 10 years, he's going to be like, yo, guys, to get play the game, you got to start using makeup. I'm going to see makeup tutorials on John Anthony Lifestyle's channel in 10 years. I guarantee you, Hammerhand, I'm going to see one. You know, and you'll probably see people that are buying into it and wanting to buy the fucking makeup course, too, because they're that desperate. I need it, Hammerhand. I need the Poonichi. You don't understand. Man, my goodness. My it's, goodness. It gets worse. <laughs> Every day we, we we stray farther and farther from God. <laughs> I just feel, you know, bro, we're laying down strafing fire on this motherfucker right now. Both of these cats. So I don't even know what the broad's going to say. So let us continue then. He's going from average photos to pro photos. What do you mean face app? You, like you're face tuning his face? Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, Even the chicks are laughing. And the chicks use them too, right? And the chicks always sure. use them. But they're still laughing at them. Sure. That's, it, it, look, women don't want men that are pretty. They don't. Now, some of them will tell you, that's a lie. I want a pretty guy. But you don't want a pretty guy in attitude. You want a man that is a man, that knows that he's a man, plain and simple. And when you have to decorate your man to make him appealing, you've got problems. I kind of have the opposite experience, but it's because I have very specific interests. Hammerhand, I've been cursed. Uh Uh-huh. I am a very ugly individual. (laughs) <laughs> hey bro at least you have an honest self-assessment i'd say i'm probably about a 4.5 hammerhand when 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 women see my face and they don't know who i am mm. they, they they remember the one viking tv show they saw and they think i'm going to unga de Bunga club their boyfriend and take them back to the cave well it probably gets them wet for a lot of them it does yeah um, i bet it does and if i was just going for average chicks yeah no i'd be i'd be doing fine but I want them goth girls. And goth girls and alt girls, they I don't know what the deal with them is, but recently they want pretty boys. They want the skinny white guys that smoke cigarettes and weigh 120 pounds. Oh, and so when Chronic just... walks up and hits on them. <sighs> it's depressing, bro. Depressing. They're just like, they're just like I literally have one chick say, Did you literally like put her hand on my chest and she goes, Spend too much time at the gym. I can't see myself having sex with you. I almost cried in the bar bathroom for like an hour. I was so upset. That's a thing that's been going around social media for a few months now, man. It's just hating on guys that are actually physically fit. Oh, oh but, some, but when I find the goth chick that is still feminine, it's a beautiful thing happened. But let's continue with this uh, video. Yeah, face yeah, dude's do dude's face. No, but not in a, not in a catfishing yeah. way. We just like Hollywood too on Face App, right? Like the most subtle. They just like smooth the skin a little yeah. bit. Yeah. It's funny. It's it what we do too. So. Yeah. Bro, you couldn't smooth this this simp ass, weak armed, hot dog, Kroger, hot dog armed ass bitch any more than he already looks smooth. See, that, that was the first thing that guy. they said, though, right? And so it's not like a catfish. No, motherfucker, it's exactly like a catfish. That's exactly what it is. Yep. It's exactly what it is. That is what it is. It is a fucking catfish. Now, Hammerhand, um,. Let's say Chronic only had one eye. Let's say he got in a shootout and lost his other Arr, eye. Patchy McChronic. And I just I just photoshopped just one small ass of my face where I had two eyes and I went to a date with an eye patch. You think I'd I I you think the woman would feel like they were lied to? Uh about what? About my face. No. Well, if they if in the profile pictures it said I had two eyes, they were Oh, well, eyes. yeah, then obviously, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Know you know, if you, could, if you got two good eyes in your fucking <laughs> in your match dot com photo, <laughs> and you show up with an eye patch, yeah, there's there's gonna be a problem. Again, I don't know how you can make John Anthony Lifestyle's face smoother. He looks like a boiled egg that I dropped after <laughs> I was. Okay, let, 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 let me finish this. Okay, let me finish this. I made a boiled egg, right? I held it in my left hand, and then I manscaped. But I was doing it real sloppy, so it got like mostly on the side of the toilet bowl instead of like in the oh. toilet. And then I dropped the egg, and it rolled around like a roulette, and it just picked up all my pube hair, then dropped into the toilet. That's John Anthony Lifestyle's face. 
Oh, that, that's <laughs> terrible. I, I wish I could forget what you just said. Because well, that's it's funny terrible. too. Like, be like, I, can't, I told people I can't cuss as much. They're like, Chronic's going soft. No, when Man, you can't I cuss, I like boiled eggs, and you're fucking it up for me. When, when, when you when you can't cuss, you're forced to become creative. So there, you guys yeah, just saw yeah. an example of a roast with no cussing in it, but very yeah, descriptive. You have, you have to be creative. Yeah. Let's continue with the cope. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So, and then I write their bio for them. And then that starts giving them a nine-day difference in matches. So I say, I don't care like what your dating situation is right now, how bad you are with girls, or what your results are like. We're going to put you through this process. Now you're going to have lots of mm. matches coming in. Yeah. Once you get a match, follow these scripts to get the phone number. Mm. And it, it handles all control paths. Once you get a phone number, follow these scripts to get a date. So now they went from getting a pro photo shoot. So that's like a, a telemarketer scammer in India trying to cover all their bases. And what's the end of it? Having sex? Uh, I guess. I don't know. This course is 500 bucks. You can have yeah, a three-way with two girls who are seven or eight out of ten for 500 bucks. If, if look, I, I, like I said, I'm not the biggest proponent for running out there and grabbing street meat. But if, you, if you've got 500 fucking dollars, you're getting a top-end escort yep. in any city. Yep. Pretty much in any city. So... And I'm not advocating. I'm just saying, instead of wasting your fucking time with all of this horse shit, go out there and experience what it, it is, it, what it's about. Don't get yourself arrested or any of that other shit. You know, try to try to play by whatever limited rules there are, and just stop giving these guys total control of your life. Your life is yours. Take control of your fucking life and make some decisions for yourself. Hey, for five hundred bucks, you get a good escort, right? Yeah, you get a pretty for good one. For 200 bucks on sale, you can fly to Brazil. And for another 200 bucks, you can have sex with John Anthony Lifestyle's girlfriend. Probably. Yep. You know, you think it's beyond the, the realm of possibility? I don't. Nah, nah. Let's continue. Having a lot of dates. And then I show them how to do it out in public, at bars and clubs, and during the daytime, and how to make those dates be successful. And as I said, we, we have like the coaching calls to find the bottlenecks and clear them away really fast. And so it opens a whole new world for them and it brings a whole bunch of confidence a whole new world <laughs> a whole Syph new world syphilis and hiv <laughs> a whole new world how dare you say my girl has a stinky puniti oh man jesus god in heaven it's 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 so sad and depressing to me that there are so many people out here that run to hucksters and scammers and scumbags like this because they have so little going for them. But then again, that's a product of your single mother homes. Congratulations, single mothers. Good job. Yeah, dudes with fathers don't don't buy this. No, shit. they don't. They don't. I Men that have do a survey. boys and girls that have fathers don't do this. I wish you would just do a survey on whether or not his customers' parents are divorced. I think that'd be a pretty interesting survey, to be honest with you. You know, if you if you could count on them to tell the truth. Yeah, we can't. For instance, their life, which translates into their career, their family relationships, their friend relationships. Face apping your face on Tinder is going to increase the value of your family relationships. Well, this is all on the assumption that his $500 course pays dividends and you're fucking somebody. So convincing right. low-quality salutes on Tinder to go on a date with you is going to increase your relationship with your father and mother? That's how little, how, how low his opinion of these guys is. Well, now, what, I guess my interpretation of that is, every, you know, if one thing I could say about John Anthony Lyle... That he has bitch think. Oh, yeah, obviously. He, he thinks his life experiences are the same with everybody else, right? And so he, he's saying, if you become more sexually powerful, you have a better relationship with your parents. Right? Now let's reverse that back onto him. Hammerhand. I will bet you all the shekels I make on Super Chats for this month that John Anthony Lifestyle was touched in his no-no square by a close family member when he was a child. Just off what he just said. Um, considering all of the shit that this guy is into, it, it's almost a certainty that something has gone down with him. Look, and, and I don't blame anybody for not being able to find their way out of it. 
It is hell on earth. It is. It is. Trust me. Take my word for it. I don't blame the population. It's not that you want to deal with. Yeah, huh? I don't blame the population, but I blame John Anthony Lifestyle. When you were five, John, you were a beta. You should have fought back. <laughs> I'm just fucking. I'm just, that was a joke. What? That was a joke. He has. He has the ability now as a reasonably maturish man to make those decisions and understand what his shortcomings are. But instead of doing that, he has embraced the shortcomings and he's, he's trying to exploit other people. He's closer to your age than my age, bro. Yeah, I agree. I think he is. He's what like is he? Almost, oh, he's, he's like, like 30, 39, 40. I was going to say 38. Yeah, 38. So. At 38. He's over a decade past me. Eight and a half almost. But yeah, this is this is gross. 